Hey there, everybody. It's Pastor Jason. I'm glad you can join me for our daily devotionals in 2 Timothy chapter 4. Today we wrap it up. You're going to forgive me today. I've got the AC blowing. I've got hummy lights, if you can hear those. And we've got lots of older names I've got to pronounce. You're just going to forgive me if I mispronounce them. Let me pray. We'll jump right into it. Thank you, Father, for your love, your grace, your mercy, your your holy integrity. May we aspire to be more like your son each and every day. Help us to fulfill the good work that you have for us to do. We thank you and praise you in your name. Amen. All right. Chapter four, verse one. I solemnly charge you before God and Christ Jesus, who is going to judge the living and the dead. And because of his appearing and his kingdom, proclaim the message, persist in it, whether convenient or not, rebuke, correct, and encourage with great patience and teaching. For the time will come when they will not tolerate sound doctrine, but according to their own desires will multiply teachers for themselves because they have an itch to hear something new. They will turn away from hearing the truth and will turn aside to myths. But as for you, be serious about everything, endure hardship, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. For I am already being poured out as a drink offering, and the time for my departure is close. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. There is reserved for me in the future the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give me on that day, and not only to me, but to all those who love his appearing. Make every effort to come to me soon, for Demas has deserted me, because he loved this present world and has gone to Thessalonica. Crescens has gone to Galatia, Titus to Dalmatia, only Luke is with me. Bring Mark with you, for he is useful to me in the ministry. I have sent Tychicus to Ephesus. When you come, bring the cloak I left in Troas with Carpus, as well as the scrolls, especially the parchments. Alexander the coppersmith did great harm to me. The Lord will repay him according to his works. Watch out for him yourself, because he is strongly opposed, opposed our words. At my defense, no one stood by me, but everyone deserted me. May it not be counted against them. But the Lord stood with me and strengthened me, so that the proclamation may be fully made through me and all the Gentiles might hear. So I was rescued from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil work and will bring me safely into his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Greet Priscilla and Aquila and the household of Anisiphorus. Erastus has remained at Corinth. I left Trophimus sick at Miletus. Make every effort to come before winter. Eubulus greets you, and so does Pudens, Linus, Claudia, and all the brothers. The Lord be with your spirit grace be with you. I love how Paul encourages Timothy to fulfill his ministry, right? Be serious about everything. Endure hardship. Do the work of an evangelist. Fulfill your ministry. We need to be thinking about what good work the Lord has for us, spiritually speaking. What is your ministry? How are you meant to serve the body of Christ? How are you meant to serve those who don't know Christ? I find it very interesting that here to Paul writing about how close he came to death and that he escaped the lion's mouth and that the Lord rescued him from the evil work, not so that he can continue on in life, but he's recognizing that he's, rec he's rescuing him not only from the evilness of their schemes, but when he's brought to safety, that safety is going to be in the heavenly kingdom. May we glorify his name forever and ever because of that. We have that promise that those of us who know Jesus, who claim his name and claim that 
that salvation can only happen through faith in him, we have that same promise. We have that same assurance. We can. We can confidently argue for him, even though people desert us left and right, because we have him by our side. Hey, I hope the letters of 1st and 2nd Timothy have been a blessing to you. If you missed a one or two of them, go back through them. You can find playlists for all the books of the Bible that I've done so far. And I hope to see you tomorrow as we start a new book. And may I use Paul's closing of 2nd Timothy to close out our study of 2nd Timothy. May the Lord be with your spirit. Grace be with you. Be blessed. Be a blessing to those around you. I'll see you tomorrow.